Hello, everyone. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be a joke. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So today I am with Heidi again. You might remember her from such videos like nursing. <laughs> <laughs> the 10 year friendship anniversary. And 10 year friendship anniversary behind the scenes. Yeah, and the yoga videos. Yeah, two yoga videos. Today we're doing a, like a mini Q&A session with Heidi. So I asked people on my Instagram to send us some questions and they have delivered. Okay, so first up we have an amazing question all the way from Brazil. <laughs> And this question is a real thinker. So it says, how many holes does a straw have? One or two? Well, personally, I think it's two. Mm -hmm. Personally, I <laughs> think it's one. <laughs> because in my opinion, you look in the straw and it's just like one long hole. Yes, and... <laughs> <laughs> to elaborate on my response, <laughs> you would think, okay. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> I had to edit out her answer. It wasn't YouTube friendly, lol. To a more serious question <laughs> next, Sup Serena asks, What's the difference between studying in Portugal and studying in Finland? Finland the location. And studying <laughs> in the <Portugal>. location. <laughs> yeah. So why don't you maybe first of all explain a bit of your background? I studied um, a degree in nursing in Finland, in Helsinki. That was three and a half years. And now I'm studying political science and international relations in Portugal. But yeah, so it's hard to pinpoint like a certain like what's the biggest difference like everything is different It's more relaxed in some ways, but then in other ways like we have a uh, the teachers are like quite like More strict about like absences and stuff like that. I think in Finland you can kind of like talk your way out of it Definitely. Yeah, and they're more like relaxed in that sense over here and yeah, and there they have this more like higher, higher art, higher, higher hierarchy. Like yeah, like oh, hierarchy. Like a more respect for this. Yeah, teacher. yeah, yeah. For instance, in Finland, I was used to it that like a professor would say like, oh, like speak up, like you know, like question me, like you know, like challenge my views and like what I'm teaching you. And here it's like, if you speak up, you might actually offend the teacher. Okay, and then the next question is, what's your favorite thing about living in Finland? I like like the cleanliness of the air. Yeah. yeah. And the streets in general are quite clean. Like when I moved to Portugal, like my skin was breaking out so bad for like a long time. Same in Scotland. Plus when always when I first get to Scotland and I walk down the streets, I'm like, wow, there's so much trash everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Food, um, candy. It's the best. Like, I don't care what anyone says. Like <laughs> Finnish candy is the best candy and the selection is, is the best. Yeah, I'm a big Fatser fan even work there everything like services you know health or like healthcare services even the public ones because i mean a lot of people like you know through employment they get private health care and that's you know like top notch but even the public one works really well and like yeah sometimes you have to wait for a long time to get like for instance to go see a dentist and stuff but once you do like it's really good and affordable and i like how you can do a lot of things online yeah yeah, like, like they've made everything. Bookings, or like you can yeah. like reserve things online and you don't have to like... And everything's made, yeah, very easily that way. I think it has something to do with Finnish people not really enjoying <laughs> interaction in general. So they've really made it easy and like I, I am also grateful for that. Yeah, because even the mailbox, they now have the um, electronic mailbox. And at least I don't really, I don't really get anything as paper form anymore. Like anything I get, I get it like electronically. Okay, let's flip it around. What's the worst part about uh, the weather? I think the darkness in the yeah. winter. Like, I don't really mind the cold. Like, I don't care if it's like, you know, minus, minus 20, minus 25, like, outside, because the houses are warm. Plus, I think once it hits a certain threshold, like, colder than minus 15, it's like a nice crispiness. Yeah. It doesn't feel that cold anymore. And once, once it's been really, really cold, and then, you know, it drops, like, you know, it goes back to minus 10, it feels like really warm. Yeah, so you know, yeah, there's that. But yeah, I think the darkness as well, like, I think that's the depressing thing. Yeah, 
like and I don't think people really understand like you know like people outside of Finland like how, how much psychologically taxing yeah. it can be yeah but there, you know there's a reason why we're one of like the leading countries in you know suicide and like depression depression and it's, uh, you know seasonal depression and I really don't mind the darkness I kind of like it I like it for like a month like, yeah it's okay, but December that, with Christmas lights I'm like yay. yeah and because the thing is it's okay if it's like dark if there's a lot of snow but when yeah. there's no like, snow, yeah. then it's just like it's too much. And I think yeah. if it's like a month, it's okay. But because it stretches for so long, yeah. And like especially, I think after Christmas, like during Christmas time, it's like yeah, 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 yeah. Christmas, whatever. And but then after that, like January, February, it's just like really, oh my god, like can we get to yeah. summer already? How is the friendship situation? Like, is it easy or hard to make friends? How do you approach making friends? And as I was saying before, yeah. I think it depends like what your reason for coming to Finland is. I think if you're coming and attending like university yeah. or school i think then it will be pretty easy because everyone's in the same situation you'll make friends with you know the other exchange yeah. students or if you're going to first year you know everyone's out there like looking for friends me personally starting my master's like yeah, of course like in the beginning it's a bit awkward and you don't really know anyone but over time like you get to know people in your class yeah i think it depends on your own attitude as well i've never had any problems making friends in finland and like Other. neither of us are like particularly outgoing people. yeah like i'm really not outgoing i'm quite like reserved like you know the, the stereotype is obviously if you speak finnish that helps a lot but yeah. like especially if you're older because like i mean i think you know like young adults and stuff you know they they, they speak english quite well but like maybe if you're old or any move here for like work related like reasons you might have a difficult more uh, yeah. yeah harder time and i do think it's true that cuz a lot of finnish people they don't move around too much yeah so there is a lot of like established friend groups from like high school time or even before mm. which i think might sometimes be hard to like get really close with someone <laughs> yeah but yeah like i mean compared to like other cultures cultures like you know, people are more formal mm. in like, you know, it might take longer for someone to like open well, I think up another like, difference might be is that people coming from other cultures here, they might be used to being invited to things a lot. Well, at least that was like my experience in the UK. Like I kept being invited to different events and kept being invited to like go different places. But then here I felt like I had to do most of that. Yeah, I think here you maybe have to put more effort into like... Yeah, it's not. It doesn't come as easily. So yeah. like, you might feel like you're doing all the work, but then eventually you'll be. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> Another. It, this is a two-part question. So the first part of the question is, which is your favorite country? And the second qu second part of the question is, USA or Finland? I mean, I, I guess like it's like de <laughs> it depends on like prefer in what way. Yeah. But like, I would say ninety percent of the like situations, I would mm. prefer Finland. Yeah. I think USA has, like, nice travel destinations. Yeah. Distance-wise, you know, Europe has a lot to offer as well. Yeah. I mean, personally, I'd rather live in Europe and Finland rather than US. But that's, like, a personal opinion. Mm -hmm. And then favorite country. <laughs> like, for what? For traveling? For living? Food? Like, what? Easiest. Okay, let's think of, yeah, to travel. Okay, so favorite. we're gonna answer this based on, like, which country is our favorite to travel to. Well, one of my personal favorites is Israel. Highly recommend it. It's very unique. Why? Like, it's just, like, the people, um, the food, like, everything, like, the architecture, the history, and everything of it. It's, like, and they have the Dead Sea, and... I mean, I always sell Scotland a lot. That's a personal favorite. Um, just because, well, I would recommend Edinburgh because like it's really beautiful. It's rich. It's rich. <laughs> it has like city life, but it also has like, you know, old extinct volcanoes you can climb and it's like, you know, and also the highlands are really nice there. But then I also, I really like, I mean, I really like Thailand. Yeah, I, I think was going to say Thailand as The well, food there is really good and really cheap. I like that everything there is like really affordable. For a yeah. student budget. Yeah. So, like, you can experience a lot. I think the people there were really friendly and, like, happy. Happy seeming. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, and from, like, I think Portugal. 
like if someone is planning on going, I would definitely recommend Porto over Lisbon. It's a lot nicer. Since when are you guys friends? Roughly around 2005 <laughs> is when we first met. I was in first grade when you came here? I th well, I was in third. Wow. So. <laughs> and then one question is, how is your name pronounced? Well, <laughs> there's two different options, Heidi or Heidi. And I really, like, don't care which way people call me. Heidi is like the, how, like, how it's pronounced in Finland. Oh no, Sydney And then is Heidi is call. like more international. Hold on, let's let Sydney There's a lot of distractions going on. Yeah. <laughs> so Sydney joins us. Oh no, Sydney don't take those. <laughs> She's like, my bed's in the corner, where'd it go? Hi honey, are you gonna come join? little skunky she smells oh, she smells, she really smells like a yeah. skunk today so maybe she like rolled in like gasoline or something i think she did smells something like went well, she definitely rolled in something okay best subject to study in finland for non-european students now this is like i would say go with your heart and what like you enjoy studying i mean no one wants to end would, up unemployed that's not what I was gonna say. I was gonna say like it's tedious studying something that you like seriously do not enjoy at all. But realistically speaking, I mean, if you're if the question is like what should you study to like get to stay in Finland? I don't know. I don't. Computer really, like, engineering. I think IT. Medicine. Yeah, like tech. Yeah, nursing, medicine, or like medical field. They always need no more nurses. Yeah. Maybe even, like, teaching? I'm not sure. Yeah, but then again, like, I haven't applied to these things, so, like, I don't know how... Yeah. I'm just I'm just thinking, like, what, you know... Employability. Happened. Yeah. Okay, this comes from our lovely friend, Hyun. Shout out to you. How have you guys become close friends? <laughs> how? How? Do you have a cute story? I mean, oh my god, we have such a cute story. Like, I don't think there's, like, you know, like, how do people, like, become friends? My in first memory of Heidi was in third grade. She had just moved, it was January, maybe it was 2006 at this point. She had just moved from Japan. She was new at our school. So we were going to an international school at that time. And I remember every single person in our whole class during <laughs> recess was crowded around her asking her questions and i was like oh that's like why is everyone so obsessed with the new girl like literally people were like, crowded i, I was pretty her. overwhelmed as well it was literally the first day she was there and i was like oh my god these people are so obsessed so me and my best friend at that time were like yeah let's just like leave them be so that's why were they like that i don't i wasn't one of them i don't really know maybe we didn't really have many new students so mm -hmm. it was a novelty it's an international school, you'd imagine that. Do you have a first memory, Heidi? Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the crowding thing. Maybe if you had, you had, you would have been one of the people to, to you know, crowd around me, then I would have a memory of you. But <laughs> wow, it's like a knife through the heart. <laughs> no, but then I remember. Didn't we start like swinging, like more on the swing, <laughs> like not like you know, like, maybe edit that part out, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really know, like, how. Well, maybe it helped, like, we were both living, like, in the same yeah, neighborhood. Yeah, Like, we, we were neighbors. Yeah, and then, like, once we got a bit closer, you know, we started doing gymnastics together and, like... Yeah, we had the same hobby, so we did gymnastics together for a few years, and then, like, we would... You would come to our house after school. Yeah, and, like, our parents got friendly as well, so, like... Then we took, like, trips together, like, yeah. our families went to U.S. together, and then you joined our U.S. trips a couple yeah. of times. I've, I've been with you, like, what, twice, I think? Yeah, twice to New York with us. And then we met up, like, in D.C. once. Yeah. And then, like, we went to Florida together. Yeah. Um, and that was all during elementary school, so then yeah. that helped, of course. And then junior high, we were put in the same class. Yeah. And, and then, then we went to high school. We were in the same school during high school. Yeah. 
I think like I don't know because yeah, I know it's like like you know normal ones you kind of reach adulthood and stuff that you kind of like drift apart from like friends but I don't know I think it's like as long as like people put in the effort you know to like like we always see each other multiple times when like you when know. we're both in the same place yeah in the same country and like i i came to edinburgh you saw how i come to porto but you know <laughs> no hard feelings <laughs> well yeah. you came during my last year so like yeah true. i, was I left at very last minute coming on your last year but then yeah it's a bit more difficult yeah but we'll see corona hopefully. hit hard oh sydney where are you going would you like to tell your first memory of heidi sydney I remember my first memory of her. Oh, well, so when she was share. a puppy and everyone, everyone crowded her. around her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because you were, we were friends when we first got Sydney. Yeah. And then I remember like, um, like Ella was going to come here as well to see her. And then I rushed because I wanted to be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. like ran. Do you guys understand any Nordic languages to some extent? understand i think it maybe means if you're fluent in finnish can you understand oh other nordic languages which i would answer no so the only language Wait, similar to finnish is just a nordic language. swedish danish norwegian icelandic well we we understand swedish well that's because we studied swedish not yeah. because, but i think if you're fluent in finnish you the only language you might understand a little bit of would be Estonian. But like it's, but I think it's like, I think the thing is Estonian and Finnish sound similar, but the words have different meanings. But I did like, watch this one video. Of this guy speaking Estonian. You can understand a little bit, but yeah, I think it's like, not as similar as say Swedish and well, Danish are. Not a, not even close. Like they yeah. can speak their own language to each other and sort of understand. Yeah not the case with us like the only reason we can understand swedish to some extent is because we study it in school yeah because yeah, people always ask me oh like is, is like finnish like like similar to swedish like no like not at all like not even the slightest bit swedish is more similar to english yeah so if you're studying swedish the benefit would be to know english not finnish <laughs> i think yeah <laughs> okay, last question is which city is the most friendly city in Finland? I think this one's difficult to answer. What do you mean by friendly? Like friendly to foreigners or friendly within? I guess out of where you guys have been. I think Helsinki is friendly. I think old like like old license are pretty friendly as well. I think Helsinki would be the most foreigner friendly. Like in general, you know, like the metropolitan area. Back back up. But then again, that's also the area that we know the best. So it's yeah. hard to say. I haven't been to that many other places in Finland. I'm just going by what people like also have told me. Because I remember we had a discussion about this once in like nursing uni. And like, oh, I don't know. Like, say, I don't know. Like, what people were saying are the with the worst people. Oh, for <laughs> sure. We love a scandal. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what I've heard is, like, some of the, like, you know, the douchiest people. <laughs> people are from Lahti and, I think, Turku. <laughs> nice. And maybe, uh, like, you know, Kajani. Well, I know Turku has the reputation of being snobby. I think is that's... it because oh no <laughs> because is, the... is it because of the sweet <laughs> <laughs> but they are like yes. on average richer yeah than and, finnish people and, yeah and like you know the finnish swedish people and you know wealth wealth easily comes with like a side of snobby or at least perceived perceived yeah. as being more snobby so i think yeah. that's a lot where that reputation comes from do let us know in the comments what your <laughs> yeah. experience has been yeah and we apologize if we have offended any Tur <laughs> any people from turku or lahti or kayani this is just you know like stereo stereotypes exist this is just for what? a reason <laughs> <laughs> this is just what we have heard yeah i mean actually the thing about kayani is more like my own like your own experience? Yeah, like, I feel like the people that I have met from there are very, like, 
kind of like, I don't want to say rude, but like dry, you know, like, like a sandpaper. Yeah, like, you know, they don't, I, I don't know, like, yeah, you know, like, the stereotypical Finn lives in Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, what are the three best things about Heidi? And Heidi, what are the three best oh. things about Katya? Have Make to it think really like yeah. heartfelt. Are these like personality things or like? Do you have the nice car? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a car. <laughs> I feel like my point number one is. I think well, because I was just thinking this might be also tied up, tied in with just because I've known you for so long. But I feel like out of all of my friends you're one of the ones that I feel most comfortable around. Like, it can just be myself, because I feel like you've seen every side of me. Yeah. Like, the the really the bad ones as well. <laughs> so tantrums like in New York. My really bad tantrums, <laughs> yeah. like me throwing fits and, like, I don't know, being really... Teenage rage. Unbearable. <laughs> teenage angst. <laughs> so I feel like... <laughs> Chipmunk gate. <laughs> that was really upsetting, they all Oh, what? I'm triggered when you when the chipmunk ate out of your hands and not mine. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> that was a tr traumatic experience for me. But um, yeah. So that would be one. Yeah, your I think turn. same. Like you can't just steal my answer. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like I can just I don't need to like think about what I say yeah. or do. I can just do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Same. And I feel like I could like tell you anything and you won't like judge me. I mean, maybe you would, but you wouldn't like judge me to my face. <laughs> I, I'll secretly tell it to Daniela. Yeah. Or then you would, and I don't know which is better. Or which. <laughs> so my second one is, I like that you make time for our friendship. Because well, like, like, when you meet, do come... Meetups. Yeah, because when you come to Finland, like, you don't necessarily always have that long of a time. Yeah. But we still always, like, are able to yeah. find the time to see each other. Yeah. And then my third one is that I think... Wait, what was the original question? Favorite what do I thing? like about Heidi? Yeah. Or was I, it through I like... Because I like Yeah, that, something like that. I like that we're both really similar. Yeah, I feel like true. our personalities are quite, like the same yeah because like even if we don't agree on stuff it's like doesn't really matter or the teachers would always confuse who's who yeah even like we don't look anything alike. we don't look the same but i guess like maybe our mannerisms yeah or, like how we behave in class is yeah. the same so people would just call me heidi yeah and it like it wasn't like even that we like sat next to each other or or like even near each other we could yeah. be on the other ends of the class and you know they'd still think yeah <laughs> i'm sometimes heidi yeah yeah that was odd yeah, that was, I always was so confused, like, huh? That like, how? But we were both, like, the quiet kid. But there were other quiet kids as well, I feel like. I don't know, man. Yeah. Oh, one of my, because this is a bit random, but, like, one of my first things is, like, um, like, you always, like, like, you always put in, like, like, you know, the effort for, like, like, me to have a good time, like, whenever we go somewhere, like, when we went to, like, now to Turku, or, like, mm -hmm. to, like, when I came to visit you in Edinburgh, like, you mm -hmm. know, like, even if you're, like, because you were, I think you were, like, during those times, like, really busy, like, when you were in Edinburgh, but you still had the time to, like, take me around and, like, you know, show me places. That's and, right. Yeah, I really like that. Well, you took the time and the money to come see me, so I yeah. wanted to make sure you enjoyed your time. Yeah. And Turku as well. Sleeping under my desk. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was good. Oh, I still have to come up with a third thing. I know, it's hard, right? Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty hard. Because I don't want to say like anything like too like generic, you know? You're like a nice person. You're a nice person. <laughs> well, I really like that you're nice. Yeah, you're very friendly. <laughs> Yeah, and I think also, like, you know, like, I feel like I can trust you, you know? Like, you know? To not what? Like, I feel like with anything, like, I, I think I could trust you with, like, secrets, but also, like, you, you know, like, 
with other stuff. Like, like dependable? Yeah. Yeah. Like, when you used to take care of our cats and stuff, mm -hmm. and, like, I didn't have to, you know, fear that they weren't happy or being taken well. Like, well yeah, through. I did take my job as cat yeah. sitter seriously. <laughs> well, and then sometimes right. I feel like I talk in, like, a snobby way, but then I'm not, like, sure. I think it's more just when I get more comfortable, then I start, like... You d yeah, you don't know stuff. how it's gonna translate. Yeah, and then like, cause I know you have to be like very careful and like kind of like what to say you do so you don't get cancelled. Mm, yeah, you don't want to be cancelled <laughs> before you're even. Yeah. <laughs> this next video, how Heidi got cancelled. <laughs> yeah. All the uh, people from Guyani cancel you. Yeah. Well, thank you again for coming to my channel and agreeing to do this little Q&A. People do always leave positive comments about Heidi and ask when she's coming back and what she's up to so here is <laughs> I your I think like people like care <laughs> people do <laughs> care about you they actually do oh. and here's your yearly update on what Heidi's up to and she's still here and alive yeah. we're still friends yeah so everything's good and that just about concludes this video till Til next time, time. <laughs> 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 tell it <Tommy>, you <laughs> <laughs> you know